It's a great blessing. Um, as you said before, you know, there's a great tradition of musical talents that have come before me. And so, you know, I just want to try to do my best to serve God and to, you know, hold up the, hold up the tradition and keep it rich, you know. Every year, it's always amazing. It's always great to see how God moves because of the gift that he has given me and I try to submit myself to him, you know, not to get big headed or anything, but, you know, I just love it, you know. I, I would feel uncomfortable being anywhere else but on the Oregon or Convention, so, you know, it's just a blessing to me. You know, how do you uh, inspire some of the other young guys that's coming up, the next generation underneath of you? It's kind of interesting that you asked me that. Um, I was talking to a young musician that actually has, is growing up right here in Calvary, and I was talking to him last night and today, and um, I was just, you know, just trying to encourage him, you know, to kind of, you know, I guess to ignore kind of the, the faces of the people, you know, when you're first growing up and you're first starting to play, a lot of things you do wrong. And people like church people are the worst critics sometimes, but it's only because they're used to hearing, you know, really great stuff. And so it's really a challenge really to make you better. So take that, you know, I encourage him and any other young musician when you're in your church, especially when someone before you has left or made a move and now you're kind of in that spot to kind of take what you see and use it you know as ammunition or as motivation you know just to you know practice and make yourself better you know because over time you'll get better you know you'll see where you know the things where you struggle with where you'll eventually you'll accomplish those things you'll feel more comfortable so it's just really just sticking with it you know being patient you know and you know just being patient and sticking with it Um, where do I start? Well, um, at this point in time, um, it's a process and, you know, a slow transition. God is, you know, steady moving me and broadening my horizons as far as, you know, the things that I do in church, you know, not just playing the organ, but, you know, as far as praise and worship and, you know, doing other things to kind of help facilitate in the services. And so, you know, it's something that, you know, in my family, the Hazards, you know, Bishop Hazard, my mother and father. You know, other family members, you know, they're all preachers, and even my younger brother. So it was something that's a part of me um, for a while. I kind of neglected it or tried to put it to the side. And so now I'm just, you know, just trying to be obedient. And, you know, however God decides, you know, what direction he decides to push me in, I just want to be submissive to that. Um, the whole preaching thing, it's not my big, it's not, it's not, I'm not big on it. I mean, if it's up to me, I can stay on the organ and be cool. But, you know, I'm just kind of just being submissive to whatever, you know, direction God takes me in from here. This is for the folks at Cove Pro. Check this out. Brian Hazard, appreciate it.